What's happening, y'all? Rich Sosa coming back at you with another video today. And before we get started, I gotta say thank God, King Jesus, for another day and another opportunity. Comment down, TG, for thank God and where you're tuning in from. And I'll definitely be sure to get back to y'all with a response. So, as you can see from the looks of the thumbnail, title, and screen, man, yes, I've been crowned an official NBA 2K partner and logo recipient, man. So, I just want to say thank you for the support, the Rich family. And as you can see, man, from the looks of the video, bro, I got the very special 3 and D 2 guard build lined up for y'all today. Now, this is going to be a build that is a monster, not only on the defensive side, but on the offense, bro. From top to bottom, I got this build lined up being one of the best lockdowns that you can make with some heavy offensive ability. So, you know, with this one, what's really special about it is that you got the potential to reach a 99 strength on a 6'4 guard, bro. On top of that, we do got the potential to reach a 99 put towards that three point shot, perimeter defense and steal. All around, I gotta say, this is one of my favorite unique builds that I brought to y'all this year. And I just want to say once again, man, thank every single one of y'all for your support. So, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. Now, from here, man, let's get into the breakdown of today's build. So, the 60 second build that we've created together on this channel man the first thing we're doing today is putting this one under the shooting guard position now for that height we're gonna go one tick down to 64 getting into that weight let's go up to 235 and then as you can see when it comes towards this wingspan today i'm gonna put this up to 611 and that's gonna be perfect to still maintain silver limitless range while being able to you know get a 99 steal on this build and that's really one of the main reasons why i gotta say this is my favorite build that I've made that is out of the height of 6'4". So the first area that I'm diving into today with y'all is going to be these physicals and this is the most important so that way as we go about the build upgrading you can see which badges, animations, and takeovers we unlock. So as far as when it comes towards today's speed, let's go up to an 88. Now as for the agility, I'm going to go up to a 90. Getting into that strength man, go all the way up to a 92. And then as you can see when it comes towards that vertical, we're going to leave this at a 60. So not bad when it comes towards this side of the ball, especially for being a guard man. I got to say that 92 strength definitely stands out to me. So from here, let's go ahead and dive from the top down into that finishing. For that close shot, we're going to go all the way up to a 65. As you get into the actual driving layup, man, I'm going to go with a 56. Moving into that driving dunk, let's go with a 70. And then as you can see, when it comes towards the actual standing dunk, man, we're going to go with a 45. And then for that post control, leave this at a 42. And this is what we should be looking like moving forward. So as you can see, we get some of the upgraded dunk packages, some of those standing dunks, man. So I got to say, this is pretty nice on the offensive side so far. As far as when it comes towards the shooting, let's go ahead and put that mid-range shot all the way up to an 80. Now for that three-pointer, man, we're going to go up to an 89. And as you can see, man, already unlocking most of the best jump shots available. Let's go with an 81 for that free throw. And as far as for the finishing and shooting, we are pretty much just about done. Now, this is going to be very important to get to this next area. So for that pass accuracy, I'm going to put this up to a 71. As you get to the actual butt handle, we're going to go up to a 75. Moving into that speed with ball, let's go with a 75 here. And this is pretty much what we're going to be looking like on the offensive side. So you get those upgraded passing styles here, upgraded pro dribble animations. And I got to say all around, man, with the way that we churn out on the defensive end, you're going to be very happy with this build today. So when it comes towards this interior, I'm going to go all the way up to an 80. As for that perimeter, man, I'm going to go up to a 97. And as you can see with that steal, we're going to go up to a 94. So now one minor change that I did make was go down to a 71 ball handle instead of the 75. Now, it does make a huge difference when it comes towards the actual badges. But I want to be sure to get the most out of the actual defensive end. So as far as when it comes towards this build, man, that's definitely something that you do want to pay attention to. So as far as when it comes towards the actual block, we get a whole lot out of this area. Let's go put this up to a 68. And then as you get into the actual rebounding, we're going to go with a 70 when it comes towards that offensive and a 60 with that defensive. And this is what we're going to be looking like once you get this build maxed out. So I got to say, man, all around, this is one of the best two-way builds that you can make. You know, you're really a monster on the offensive side, being able to shoot, really able to lock up pretty much just about any position. 
And as far as when it comes towards being a point guard, bro, this build really still has the capabilities to do so. Now, something that's going to be very important before we move further is going to be these badges. So as you can see, man, we get one legend and that's going to be immovable enforcer. And this is probably one of the most overpowered defensive badges that you can unlock, especially for this kind of build, man. So it really just starts there. As far as when it comes towards the Hall of Fame, we get off-ball pass. Now, we're also going to be able to get on-ball menace, interceptor, challenger, and also on top of that, bro, pick dodger. So, I gotta say, if you're looking to, you know, play in those pro-am leagues, any comp setting and situation, this is a really nice build, bro. I can't cap it with y'all, especially when it comes towards the badges. I think most of them, getting them on the gold and Hall of Fame and Legends here are going to be crazy to actually have badges that are catering more towards this area than the silver and bronze so as far as when it comes towards the actual gold we get set shot specialist you're also going to get slippery off ball and then from there you do get glove bro so not too bad of a build especially considering that you know pretty much you can do anything from be the main shooter in your team be the main point guard be a true finisher but all around this build definitely shines on that defensive end so as far as when it comes towards these silver badges we get dead eye you're also getting lightning launch limitless range from there you get strong handle with shifty shooter on top of that bro we get box out beast and dimer so all around man if you were to make any type of changes you know i don't think there's anywhere that you're really lacking from either side of the ball bro now as far as when it comes towards these bronze badges we get break starter you're also going to get high flying denier aerial wizard and rebound chaser on top of that we get unpluggable and handles for days so i don't think this build is bad especially considering that we can pretty much do anything at ease and what's really going to take this build into that next level of being overpowered is going to be the cap breakers and the takeovers so let me just give y'all a little hint the takeovers that i always look to add and pick from are going to be the ones that give you either a plus eight or 15 so really pay attention to the attributes so right here with fluid shooter we get a plus eight put towards that mid-range shot and three-pointer as far as when it comes towards gifted hands the three-pointer and the steal you know we also do get great wall takeover getting that plus 15 put towards that strength very nasty on this build now you get midi my estro with plus 15 put towards that mid-range shot new ascents pickpocket now it seems like a lot of these takeovers give you a huge boost put towards your attributes we also get splash tower the claw you get 3nd here spot up shooter sniper pest mirror make it rain glue and fortress bro so let me just give y'all a quick hint in which I think is going to be the best takeovers to pick. So one that I would recommend is going to be Fortress. Getting that plus 8 put towards that 3 pointer and also the strength you can't go wrong with it. Now let's just go ahead and say you want to you know pick make it rain. That's not bad getting a plus 7 put towards your speed and also both shooting attributes. Now even if you wanted to go with the claw getting that plus 15 put towards that steal with spoiler takeover ability is not a bad option same thing can't be said for splash tower or even if you wanted to go with midi my estro and great wall personally on my big man i do run great wall takeover and i think i gotta say this is probably for defensive purposes one of the best takeovers that you can pick now before we get this build maxed out something that i want all of y'all to take into account is going to be those cap breakers so let's just go ahead and say you use all of your five cap breakers towards your steel. We have the potential to get Legend Glove and also Interceptor. That's going to put you at at least three Legend badges off rip. Now, you can even throw it towards the perimeter end to get, you know, Challenger and On Ball Menace. It really comes down to the way that you see fit for your playstyle. Or even if you wanted to get more out of the playmaking badges, even more passing styles. All around, bro, there's no wrong options to pick from. I want to know your thoughts and opinions, man. Is there anything that you potentially would do or change to make this build a little bit better however from top to bottom man i think i got y'all right with this one today so i just want to say thank every single one of y'all for the support if you made it to the very end let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that we all made this build correctly now as you can see we get dan marge we also get herbert jones and Derek white and coming up at the 60 second build that we've created together on this channel we got the rare and best three and d2 guard bro now this is going to be a build that you can use not only in season one but throughout the cycle of nba 2k25 i got y'all right from the defensive end definitely one of the best shooters on the floor and for the finishing and playmaking there's not a lot of builds that are going to be able to compete with this one now i'm very happy because it does have the potential to pretty much get the best you know dunk packages available 
passing styles, dribble animations, and of course, jump shots. You know, there's no weakness with this build today. So I just want to say thank every single one of y'all for your support. You know, if you have a certain build that you want me to go after and recreate, leave the details down below or hit me up on any of my socials above and I'll definitely be sure to get y'all right. So once again, man, thank the Lord above King Jesus for another day and another opportunity. And if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you know, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family, and last but definitely not least, with all that being said though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.